to my channel, Side Hustle Seattle. So I have made a lot of videos on a lot of different platforms, but by and large, the platform that I get the most questions about and that people seem to be the most confused about is Notarize. And so I figured why not just make a quick video dedicated solely to Notarize and how it works and how you can interact with it. So that way you can have the information you need all in one quick, succinct video. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. So if you didn't know, Notarize is by far the biggest player when it comes to the remote online notary space. And that's from both the consumer side and from the notary side, right? And I think I, I read an article or I like watched a video or an interview or something that said Notarize has over 80% market share when it comes to the notarizations done online. And honestly, rightfully so, because if you've ever seen Notarize, signed up for them, interacted with them, they are easy to use, they have a really good user interface, and they absolutely like kill it when it comes to marketing and advertising, right? And I remember when I was first starting out, um, signing up to become a notary in Washington, they're actually who I went through to get my affirmation notarized because I couldn't find a mobile notary in a convenient time for me. So I went through them to get it um, notarized. And so I can, I've used them from both a consumer standpoint and I've used them as a notary as well. And so I can honestly say that they just do a lot of things right. From the notary standpoint, it's actually a little bit confusing on how exactly it works and how exactly you yourself can interact with it. So that's why I want to spend a little bit more time talking about. So if you didn't know, there's three different ways that you can interact with the platform. There's the contractor side, which that's how most people know about Notarize. There's the independent side and then there's like the enterprise slash business side. And each one varies about how exactly it works, what states it's available in, um, et cetera. And so that's what I want to spend uh, kind of the rest of the video talking about. So let's just jump right in. We'll start with the contractor side. Okay, so when Notarize first launched um, and became open to people, I think it was like the beginning of 2020, it launched with what we'll call the independent contractor side of the business. And this is actually the side of the business that makes Notarize so desirable for most notaries. Because on the contractor side of the business, you will be notarizing documents for the clients that notarize sources. So to give you a better example, if I'm somebody who needs a document, right? Um, notarize, I'll go to the Notarize platform. I'll say, yes, I need one document notarized. What happens is Notarize will essentially um, ping all the notaries that are online at that time. And you know, it's first come first serve, whoever accepts it gets to notarize the documents themselves. Think of it like the gig economy, right? You sign up, you're online and you receive calls as they come through. That's exactly how it works. Now, what makes that so desirable is because you don't have to source your own clients, right? Like when you first become a remote online notary or notary in general, the hardest part is figuring out how to build your client base and how to get business. Notarize removes that, right? They bring the business to you and all you have to do is just sit there and accept the calls and kind of work through it. So that's why people want it because why would you want to source your own clients if somebody's going to give you them? Now, if you signed up to be a remote online notary or you're just now getting into the remote online notary space, then one thing you'll learn pretty quickly is that pretty much no other platform can give you clients like Notarize can. And the main reason is because, like I said, they have 80% market share. Like that's where the majority of people are going to get their documents notarized online, which means they have enough volume to go around. Most of these other platforms, they don't have the volume to be able to support, you know, giving clients to thousands of notaries, you know what I mean? And so that's why when you're looking around, there's no other platforms that are giving you clients. And even if they are, you're not getting very many. Um, and so that's why this is pretty much the only one that does that. Now that's great and all, but the thing about it is an independent contractor side of Notarize is only available in four states, which means if you are not in those four states, you cannot use Notarize as an independent contractor, which means you cannot use Notarize um, as a way to get clients, if that makes sense. Those states are Nevada, Texas, Florida, and Virginia. So for you guys in those four states, congratulations. I 100% recommend signing up to Notarize to start. If you're not in those four states, don't even bank on finding a platform that's going to give you clients consistently and in a very meaningful way. I'll just put it that way. You may be wondering how much does it pay, right? Okay, they're giving me clients, that's great. Let's talk about the cash, how much do they pay? So Notarize is kind of, I've never used it from the independent side of the platform because it's not available in my state, but I've known people who have and you know, you can read a lot online. Um, but essentially the way it works is there's two different queues. There's like the basic retail and business queue, and then there's the real estate queue where you're doing loan signings. So on just the retail and business queue, um, what happens is you get paid $5 per seal 
and $1 for each additional seal within the same transaction. So let's say you get a call, you accept it, the person has a document um, that needs two notarizations, you'll get paid $6 for that, right? $5 for the first one, $1 for the second one. Um, and so that's how it works. If you move up to be able to do loan signings, you get paid $25 per that loan signing itself. Now, to be clear, that is a lot less than you would make if you were bringing on your own clients, right? Like if you had your own client that you brought onto a platform, doesn't matter what platform, and you notarize a document, you would make more, of course, per that notarization, but at the same time, you didn't have to do the legwork to get that client. So yes, it pays a lot less, but they did the work for you as far as bringing the clients to you. So it's kind of that trade-off. My suggestion, if you're just starting as a remote online notary, use Notarize anyway, assuming it's available in your state, because it's a good way to get your feet wet, it's a good way to learn, it's a good way to make your mistakes early, you know what I mean? Um, and so, yes, pays less, but in my mind, it's worth it for the experience. So that's the contractor side of the business. So the next way you can use Notarize is through something called BYOT, or otherwise known as bring your own transaction. So this is the independent notary side of the business, which means this is for notaries who want to bring their own clients onto the platform. By bringing your own clients, it means they are not giving you any business. You can essentially use their software to be able to notarize documents for the clients that you source yourself, okay? And so it's actually, it's like any other independent platform that you've used, I guess, um, which most run platforms are independent platforms. It's you know, you can send people invites to signings, you can upload documents, you can tag documents, um, you know, they'll record it, they'll put it in a journal. It's it's a pretty basic, you know, independent notary platform. I shouldn't say basic, I think it's great, but you know, it's a standard independent notary platform. Um, now where it's available, it's only available in two states right now. It's available in Washington and it's available in Tennessee. So I signed up for it when I was still in Washington. So I've seen the platform from that side. Um, the way it works as far as fees go, it is zero dollars to sign up so you don't pay anything to sign up there's also no monthly fee what they have are transaction fees and again that's pretty standard across a lot of independent platforms so you pay per transaction so how it works is you pay eight dollars for the first seal and three dollars for each additional so let's say you know i'm in washington i can charge 25 dollars for a notarization bring somebody onto the platform i charge them 25 dollars for that notarization notarize um, takes $8 from that. So I make $17 from that transaction. And you can just link a Stripe account, get a direct deposit to your bank. Um, so it's pretty easy and pretty seamless once you have somebody on, but know that you are paying a transaction fee. Now, what I will say is as far as transaction fees go for independent platforms, this is definitely, I think the lowest transaction fee that I've seen across platforms. Now, will that last forever? I don't know, um, but it does have very low transaction fees. So if you are in Tennessee, or Washington and looking for an independent platform, uh, this is honestly a really good one because like I said, the it's easy to use, user, user interface is good, it's great when a signer's on a phone, so it's a good platform to consider if you are looking for an additional independent platform. So that's the second way to use it. So the last way you can use the platform is through something called BYON or Bring Your Own Notary. And this is more of the enterprise slash business side of the platform. And it can be a little confusing how I'm gonna talk about it, so I'm gonna try to make it as easy as possible. The way it works is if I'm a company and I have notaries, I can essentially make a BYON account and bring all my notaries into my account. So that way, if I have something that needs to be notarized remotely, all of my notaries are all within this little one ecosystem and I can send them requests to notarize it. Now you may say, well, what does that have to do with me? Like I'm not either part of a company that has notaries or I'm not a company myself that has notaries. So. The most relevant way it pertains to you is probably through SnapDocs. So if you didn't know, SnapDocs is a signing database um, where different signing services or title companies will use to find signing agents to complete loan signings that they have, right? So if you're a loan signing agent, you've probably already heard of SnapDocs. If you're not a loan signing agent but thinking of doing or becoming one, sign up for SnapDocs. I think it's great. Um, but essentially, SnapDocs is just a way to find signing agents to complete different loan signings. Now, SnapDocs recently partnered with Notarize to essentially create a BYON account. So what they're doing now is if they have a certified remote online notaries on the SnapDocs platform, they are setting them up with Notarize accounts. So that way, when somebody comes to the SnapDocs platform, it's like, hey, I have this loan signing, but it wants to be done remotely. Can you do it? They can assign it to people through Notarize. And the good thing about it is it's available in 23 states. So unlike, you know, the contractor side or bring your own transaction side, 
If you're a notary in one of these 23 states that I'll put on the screen, so I'm not gonna list them out, then you are eligible to get a um, BYON account through Notarize under SnapDocs essentially. And literally all you have to do is just message SnapDocs, say you're a certified remote online notary, and they will help you create an account on Notarize and that's it. Um, so that's another way that you can kind of use it. So when it comes to payments, it's a little bit different, right? Because you're not paying a transaction fee, but like Notarize also isn't paying you. You essentially get paid the same way you do with any other signing through SnapDocs, right? SnapDocs will tell you that they have a remote online signing. They'll tell you how much it pays. You'll do the signing through the Notarize platform and then you get paid through SnapDocs. So you don't really have to worry about anything else. You're gonna get paid through SnapDocs itself, just like with any other thing through SnapDocs. Anyways, that is the three different ways that you can use Notarize. As an independent contractor, as an independent notary, and through the BYON or enterprise side. So hopefully that helps clarify it a little bit. I'm really hoping I didn't confuse you more. I think I did, uh, but I'm hoping that was helpful. I'm hoping that gives you a better sense on if Notarize is for you or not, or how you may interact with it or use it, I just wanna reiterate, if you're one of those people, like most people, that want a platform that gives you clients and Notarize is not available in your state, I wouldn't worry about trying to find a platform that gives you clients because you're not going to find one that's going to give you enough volume to make it worth it. So I would just focus on building your own client base um, and building a name for yourself and start working on that. Uh, but anyways, that is the end of the video. I hope you liked it, I hope it helped, and as always, I will catch you in the next video.